This quick 90 Day Fiancé recap details everything that happened in 90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way Season 4 Episode 6, titled, Love is One Thing, which aired on March 12, 2023. The ongoing version of the 90DF spin-off features one returning couple, 46-year-old Daniele Gates and Johan Geronimo, 32, from Love in Paradise, the Caribbean, with Daniele having just moved to the Dominican Republic. A newer couple is Nicole Sherbani, 38, from Los Angeles, and Mahmoud Sherbani, 26, from Egypt. The two are not happy together. 90 Day Fiancé's Gabriel Pabon is a 32-year-old trans man in a relationship with Colombian single mom, Isabel Posada, 34. Then there's Chris Foster, a 40-year-old who thinks she's 20, who's dating Jamie Noguera, 30, in Colombia. Big secrets about these two are dropped during every episode. 46-year-old Oklahoma woman Jen Boker is madly in love with Indian model Rishi Singh, 32, whose family doesn't know he's engaged. Then, there's 67-year-old artist Debbie Aguero and 24-year-old Usama from Morocco. Despite their 42-year-old age gap, Debbie wants to marry Usama. 90 Day Fiancé couple Jen Rishi Jen met Rishi's family in the previous episode, where she found out that he'd lied to her, as his relatives had been looking for a woman for him for years. 90 Day Fiancé celeb Jen showed off her Bollywood Zumba skills at a class conducted by her friend, Deer. She admitted that the chemistry between her and Rishi had fizzled out, and complained about Rishi not telling his family about her. Deer was convinced that Rishi was making a fool of Jen. He wanted her to push Rishi, so she could get the answers she deserved. As Rishi taught Jen how to fly kites during the kite festival, he suggested that she should move to his house to understand his family's culture, and what is expected from an Indian wife. For starters, he took her to his friend Surendra's house to learn the duties of a bride, where Jen found out she'd have to wake up at 4 a. m. to make chai for her in-laws. This is not how I expected my life to be after marrying Rishi, 90-day fiancé cast member Jen confessed, before adding, I don't have two master's degrees so I can go be a maid for your family. 90 Day Fiancé couple Chris Jamie three days after her arrival in Colombia. Chris went furniture shopping with Jamie, and they couldn't agree on which couch or chairs were the best. As Chris made herself comfortable on a showroom bed, she dropped a new bombshell on Jamie. She said she might have to fly back to Alabama in one week because she was served papers to go to court in order to prosecute the man who stole my rare motorcycle. Chris and Jamie would have to change their wedding date. Jamie was hurt, and reminded of Chris ghosting her on her birthday. Meanwhile, 90 Day Fiancé star Chris claimed the flight, and riding on rough roads, was making her neck pain, worse and worse. While on their way to the flea market in a cab, Chris collapsed in the backseat, due to her discomfort. An overwhelmed Jamie brought Chris back to their apartment, where a doctor examined the American woman, and gave her an injection. Jamie wondered if Chris would have to get an operation in Alabama, and worried that a year's worth of distance would hurt their relationship. 90 Day Fiancé couple Debbie Usama and Nervous Debbie finally landed in Morocco, where she was greeted by Usama. Debbie recalled her son Julian planting seeds of doubt about Usama in her mind. She hoped to get married to him within a month. You're my strange beautiful, Debbie told Usama upon meeting him, as he presented her with a rose.
An angel that comes from the heavens to Morocco to save me, said Usama, who took Debbie to Rabat, as she looked forward to starting her, happily ever after. 90-day fiancé couple Daniele Johan after their huge argument about the half-story he told her about an ex-girlfriend, who'd gotten an abortion, Johan left to stay at his parents' home. He returned to Daniele's room next, to tell her that he thought his ex had initially had a miscarriage. He found out through someone else that it was an abortion. Johan stated that he told Daniele about it being a miscarriage because he really wanted the baby. That was a very unpleasant moment for Johan. Daniele made Johan realize that clearer communication would help their marriage. He agreed, but wasn't able to convince 90-day fiancé star Daniele that he was capable of having a mature relationship. Regardless, Daniele and Johan kissed and made up. 90-day fiancé couple Gabriel Isabel a week into his Columbia move. Gabriel and Isabel visited a plastic surgeon to discuss him, not wanting boobies anymore. Gabriel's doctor in Florida wasn't convinced that he was a trans man, and it made him uncomfortable that he had to show proof I. E. The scar from his bottom surgery. I find Gabe attractive the way he is. He doesn't need anything else, said Isabel, who wanted to support her partner. After all, it's Gabriel's body and choice. He spoke about getting a complicated alt phalloplasty which required three painful surgeries. 90-day fiancé cast member Gabriel was worried about the scarring and complications that might come with surgery. However, he knew the operation would be cheaper in Colombia than America. Gabriel was told it would cost 12 or 13 million pesos, $3,000. Eventually, he decided against it, because the surgeon also suggested he get an implant so he could get erections. Gabriel and Isabel discussed everything, from the phalloplasty to the girth of his penis. They also talked about how he ejaculates, in a detailed conversation interjected by hilariously botched translations, thanks to their translator. I like Isabel because she makes me feel normal, added Gabriel. 90-day fiancé couple Nicole Mahmoud. Things have really been a struggle so far, said Nicole, while admitting that Mahmoud's residence didn't feel like home yet. Nicole had to stay alone in the house, with nothing to do, while Mahmoud was away at work. Mahmoud was taking Nicole to his uncle's house to discuss a potential business idea she had about starting their own clothing business with garments that she actually likes. Those clothes would be modest. While visiting his uncle, Nicole refused to cover her hair with a hijab, as doing so makes her feel hot and uncomfortable. Nicole told Mahmoud about her wearing short sleeves in America, which offended him immensely. He felt betrayed since he didn't know about that. I think we not can be together, said Mahmoud, while storming out of the house crying. Nicole thought that he wanted her to leave her, and started to pack her bags. Mahmoud returned, revealing that he tends to walk away from arguments with his 90-day fiancé wife Nicole, usually to calm down. He said he didn't think Nicole loved him anymore. I came all this way you think I don't want you? asked Nicole. According to her, moving to Egypt after giving up her life in the US was a pretty big gesture of love. Mahmoud asked Nicole, you want me or not? The episode ended with yet another fight between the 90-day fiancé, the other way couple, and Nicole declared, I've had enough. Quote.